Now the details on the story that's been our big story all day. It's been a heartbreaking day right here at Action News as we mourn the loss of two colleagues who died when Chopper 6 crashed last night. The chopper went down in a wooded area of Burlington County while returning from an assignment. On board, the Chopper 6 pilot, 67-year-old Monroe Smith, and photographer, 45-year-old Christopher Doherty. Action News reporter Chad Perdelli, he's live now at the Chopper 6 base in Northeast Philadelphia. And Chad, you've been learning investigators will work to find out exactly what went wrong. The National Transportation Safety Board will lead this investigation. Personnel are expected on scene tomorrow. Meanwhile, the crash site has been secured as investigators try to determine cause. Literally every scrap of paper that they can get their hands on, they'll take a look at, and that's going to be part of the investigation. In addition to the physical evidence of, you know, the helicopter itself and its wreckage. John Gagliano is a former pilot and aviation attorney. He and the NTSB say the investigation will involve three components, the pilot, the aircraft, and the operating environment. Among the information and records investigators will gather, flight track data, air traffic control communications, weather forecasts, and pilot licensing, ratings, flight experience, and more. Anything that documents the condition of the helicopter. That includes maintenance records, that includes flight logs, that includes uh, pilot training records, uh, you know, even down to the minutia of uh, when's the last time the aircraft was fueled and who fueled it. This is flight tracking data from FlightAware. You can see the speed and altitude of the chopper's final moments in flight. It took off just before 7.30 p.m. from its base at Northeast Philadelphia Airport. Roughly 20 minutes later, the crew arrived to their assignment near Galloway Township. You can see a dip in altitude. Chopper 6 then began returning to base when it started losing altitude a few minutes after 8 p.m. Gagliano says NTSB records show this model of helicopter, an AS-350, has been involved in 57 fatal crashes since 1988. There was a crash of this model helicopter in 2018, and it was caused by, according to the NTSB, uh, you know, a single engine failure and a bad placement of a fuel shutoff lever. And the NTSB tells Action News the wreckage will be taken to a secure location and the investigation could take at least a year. Live in Northeast Philadelphia, Chad Perdelli, Channel 6, Action News. All right, Chad, thank you.